Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here at the Sports Industry Awards in Battersea, joined by Mr. Eddie Hearn. How are we, Ed? I'm very well, thank you, sir. How are you? I'm very good. I bet you thought you was coming out to have a nice little celebration tonight. And next thing you know, you're thrown to, uh, to IFL TV, to the Lions. I'll be honest, we were doing a little bit of red carpet and then the man said to me, uh, got a couple of interviews for you over there. I looked over and it's Oscar from IFL and Andy from Boxing Social. And I was thinking it's got to be a wind up, but yeah, all good. You can't escape us, Ed. You can't escape us. Um, Barry Hearn, Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, I'm just going to let you have the floor. Well deserved. Yeah, absolutely. It's quite funny, really. I'll, I'll say it later when I'm up there. You know, Lifetime Achievement is a tribute, obviously, to the great work you've done in your career. But it is also tells you you're getting a little bit old. So I'll have to give him a bit of stick. But it's all come across, come along uh, at once, really. Boxing Hall of Fame, OBE, Lifetime Achievement Awards. But, you know, he deserves it. He's put the graft in. Um, He's actually, he's playing, uh, he's playing cricket for Essex over 70s and he's actually torn his Achilles and he's got a boot on, which is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to absolutely let him have it for that later as well. But uh, we're always, I don't want to talk him up too much because, you know, he'll start getting a little bit of a big head, but uh, secretly very proud. Oh, I bet, I bet. Like I said, I've got to keep it short and sweet, so I've got to ask you a couple of things. Did you see Tyson Fury's comments on Gary Neville's overlap? Yeah, I will briefly. I haven't seen the interview. What was it? Eddie Hearn's a southern... Eddie Hearn is a southern wanker, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, look, look, the old man's got the boot on over there, look. Um, yeah, look, Tyson Fury, when he starts talking about me, and he starts talking about Dillian White, you know there's only one thing happen. He's struggling to sell a fight. So you'll probably see a lot of that over the next couple of weeks in the build up to his fight. I, I heard he said that Eddie Hearn wasn't a, isn't a champion. I'm obviously not a champion, I'm a promoter. He said Eddie Hearn's just a businessman, correct, congratulations. I'll tell you one thing that me and Tyson Fury have got in common though. We've both got the same amount of heavyweight world title championship defenses, which is absolutely zero. So, yeah. All right. Um, and he did sort of lay out a plan. I know he's done this before. I remember he said he wanted to fight Dell again once, but he's laid out a plan that said after Deontay on October the 9th, he wants Dillian White. So I suppose, you know, you could still work together after all this. Age anymore? Well, this, I mean, I don't know. You never know what to believe with Tyson Fury, but good luck to him.